Hello everybody, Fossilize here. i uh, going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, no games, uh, at least not for this particular video, maybe later, who knows. Uh, but with all this, this self-imposed isolation that we've had with this social distancing and an attempt to get the coronavirus under control, um, just curious, I, I assume other people are, are getting claustrophobic and cabin fever and just kind of going crazy being, being locked in their house. Uh, I know I am, uh, which is funny because if it's my idea, I can stay in the house for days at a time and not have any problem at all. But when I'm kind of mandated not to go out and run around there's nothing i want to do more i, I don't know if that's our little rebellious spirit or what uh but anyway doing doing my best uh to to you know stay isolated from the world using using the internet as my my outlet uh in fact this video today is probably just a, a mechanism to help me you know fight off some boredom so hopefully it gives you just a little outlet as well uh, but with all this this self-imposed social distancing uh you know you may want to have the desire to get out or see something differently and and uh, I'm going to talk about a product that I receive uh, that that may it helps me along with this sort of thing, and it's just fun to do. And maybe maybe you like it too. And, and again, I'm not endorsed in any way by this by this company. Uh, I, I'm a I'm a client in that I send them money and they send me this this thing, and I'll get to it a little bit later. So, uh, but I was turned on to this by my daughter, and it's it's just really a cool fun thing. So what I'm talking about is is Universal Yum. Uh, and, and you get this little yum box in the mail delivered to your door, and I'm going to put a link down below to, to tell about, you know, how you can go about kind of looking into this or, or you know, subscribing yourself or what have you. Um, uh, and and every, every month it comes from a different country, or, you know, it's, it's snacks. Basically, this is snack food from a different country. And I love snacks, and, and it's fun to see what other people do. In this case, this is the March 2020 version uh, and it is the land of palms, and if you don't know where that is, we'll we'll tell you in a minute and and kind of kind of enlighten you a little bit. Um, so so with that said, what I'm planning on doing here today is I'm just going to open up the yum box, uh, go through, tell you a little bit about each of the things that's in it, just so you kind of get an idea of what a yum box has in it. Uh, I'll throw pictures of of the items up in the corner here, and uh, and and we just kind of go through it together. Uh, second part of this this video, I'm going to actually eat the stuff on camera and kind of give my impressions of it. Uh, if you don't want to hang around for that, that's more than fine. That's just, again, something I want to do. And if you want to stick around, you're more than welcome. I mean, I have eaten some nasty stuff while on this channel. I don't want to make it sound like that's what I'm expecting from this Yum Box because they are, they are absolutely delicious, even if a little different. And, and you'll get kind of a feel for that as we go through some of the products here. Uh, but for right now, uh, let's, let's virtually go to this other country. And, uh, and what, I wanna, what I want to show is, is where we're going, where we're going. And, and in this case, let's pop it open. Oh, and I lost my thing. Uh, in, in this case, it's Brazil. And it comes with this little cover sheet on it that, that has in, interesting information. Boy, that works really badly on the webcam. Uh, it keeps disappearing because there's so much green in Brazil. Um, but, but it has inf interesting information about the country as well as a thing where you can rate your snacks and, and little games and stuff for you or the kitties to play with. Um, but anyway, I had some stuff drop out here. But here, here's the box. So it winds up with all these little bags and snacks and, and goodies. And, and we'll just kind of go through each of these in turn and, and give you a quick overview of what that is. Now, with that said, uh, I have not memorized, you know, any script for this. So... As, as is my normal way, expect some, some gaps and, and ah, you know, confusion and all. But I am going to have to read this from the book. So, so let's go ahead and get started. And like I say, I will throw pictures of these up here and you can kind of figure out. The book itself, let's talk about that just a minute. The book that comes with it is actually very neat too because it also has, has a lot of good information about, about the country that that's, you know, you're, you're tasting. Uh, I can't get the pages to turn. Uh, little little trivia games. It has it has uh, write ups on each each part of the food items that's in there, uh, giving you an idea of what it is, as well as the nutrition facts, which I guess that's mandated in, in the U.S. So it has that. Um, in fact, a lot of these have labels that have been stuck on them after the fact to give you the nutritional values of, of things. Um, and 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 there we go. And then it gives you a hint of what's coming up for the next month, so you can kind of figure that out and guess. So, in case you were wondering, you know, where, where are we at here, you know, Brazil, um, actually, I just showed you that. So, anyway, let's go back and just talk about the snack now. Shut up, quit talking, let's get to the snacks. That's probably what you're here for, to figure out what this universal yum thing is all about. All right, so the first thing on our, on our list here is, uh, is mandioca chips cebola, and, and I am not a, a good Spanish speaker. I've taken some Rosetta Stone 
Uh, I'm not great. I know how to, you know, do those those pina coladas, por favor, you know, things like that. Uh, Banyo with a questioning mark and, and tears in my eye. So I, I don't have a lot going for me. So hang with me as I try to fight my way through some of this pronunciation. But anyway, the, the gypsy bola, that's cassava chips with onion and parsley. Uh, and those those sound like a very interesting thing here. So, so yeah, that's the, the beauty of this is you get the, what they, you know, what they have for snacks. And you get a feel for, for kind of what flavors they're, they're into. And, and it's really a cool deal. Uh, next on the list, we have these Bibs Moranga Extreme. Uh, did, you, did you hear the trill? Extreme. There we go. I'm on it. But there were actually two of these two of these candy bars in this pack. Uh, one of them was a white chocolate with strawberry, while the other was a dark chocolate with crisp rice. Basically a, a Nestle's Crunch Bar, but but with dark chocolate and and. I've noticed in a lot of these these uh, foreign chocolates, they use a lot more of the cocoa, and you get a whole different taste than than our really heavily processed, um, you know, U.S. U.S. type milk chocolate candy. So so it's an interesting experience. Uh, next up is the Paco Quita Original, and that's a peanut candy. Um, and I don't remember what these things were called. I wanted to say Lincoln Log, but that's a toy. But these things were like a peanut log, and it and it for all the world looked like sawdust that had been glued together in a cylinder. But they were delicious, and it was like like peanut brittle that that you could eat on a you know off of the off of the stick off of the cylinder and all. Uh, but very good, very good. That's what that reminds me of. Um, there's into our chips now. We have Delicitos Sabor Pimenta, and that's a wheat snack with chili pepper seasoning. Ooh, spicy, spicy. And then the sals, what, Salsitos Sabor Pipoca, and that's corn puffs with popcorn flavor, which is interesting because the next item up is Pipoca Dose Bilu, and that is indeed a popcorn snack, and this is a sweet popcorn snack. Um, I'm not sure what... what flavoring this is it is supposed to be a sweet popcorn you know not like caramel popcorn but um, I don't know I don't know we'll have to find out but um, it sounds sounds interesting sounds interesting uh, next on our list we're kind of jumping around here we've got a thing called fruitful sabor abacaxi okay and that's a that's a little small uh, like pineapple chews the little, little uh, fruit flavored candy and they are delicious Yes, I cheated and I took some, <laughs> okay? Uh, so, yeah, a lot of this I've already tried because when I open the box, I can't help myself. and just start stuffing a little bit. But anyway, we'll, I'll pretend I don't know, uh, you know, when we when we go on. Um, the next item would be the Delicia Quejadinha Superiore. Ooh, that sounded more Italian than it did Brazilian. But uh, anyway, this is an interesting combination of things. It's cookies with Parmesan cheese and, and coconut. And that you would think, mm, I'm not sure about this whole cheese and coconut thing, but I gotta tell you, it works. It, it actually is really good, very interesting flavor. And that's what I love about these Universal Yum boxes. You get some things that you might kind of go, hmm, not sure of, and you, if you're brave and try them anyway, you can be pleasantly surprised. Um, okay, next item is this cookie, uh, Corre Peo de Mel. Um, and, and that is a chocolate cake with chocolate coating and sprinkles that are also chocolate. So yeah, you can just chocolate overload if there is such a thing. And, and they're really good. And then getting on to the more fancy stuff, we have this tropical chocolate bronco. And it is white chocolate bar with caramel and banana. And uh, it, that sounds sounds amazing. So we'll, we'll find out. Uh, they also each, each I'm not going to say each month, but most months you wind up with this little bag and it's, it's, they call it their yum bag. And it's just a bag with a handful of, of different kind of candies, small candies that, that you know, are prevalent in that country. In this case, we have two that are uh, same manufacturer, similar things. They're, they're uh, Carmel, Caramello's Premium Torte di Lemeo, <laughs> which is basically a lime pie flavored milk caramel. And, uh, and then the other one is a Mousse de Maracuja. Mm. Uh, and that's basically passion fruit flavored milk caramel. And uh, yeah, looking forward to, to hitting some of that. So anyway, uh, again, just wanted to give a quick overview. That's what you can expect kind of as a sampler of, of the Universal Yums. Again, check below for, uh, for you know, a link to that, to that company and, and try it if you want. I mean, we've got, we've got travel on the Internet. You can see videos of these places like, like what's shining behind me right now. Um, but they really haven't figured out a good way to get taste on the internet. And I lick the screen and it really doesn't do much good. So it tastes like dust to me. So I'm not getting that, that whole thing. So until we get smell-o-vision or taste-o-vision, 
I, I would highly recommend this Universal Yum Box. Um, and it might prompt you to go and check out more about the country. And it kind of gives us a chance to virtually get out of the house and take a tour where otherwise we can't. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this for now. Uh, I'm going to go into the, the trial tasting portion of this. So if you want to join join along, uh, you're very welcome and, um, and look forward to, to seeing you over there. So if not, have a good time. Enjoy your, your solitude. And, uh, you know, reach out however you can. Phone calls, uh, chat, you know, come on Twitch, say hey to us, uh, interact a little bit. I mean, there's, we don't have to totally cut ourselves off from civilization. Just try not to spread germs, you know, or viruses, whatever you want to call them. So anyway, y'all have a good day, and uh, maybe we'll see you on the next side. All right. Talk to you later. Alrighty, we are back again. Uh, now we're going to do through the taste portion of this thing. Uh, again, don't know how well this is going to convey to to video, but um, I don't know, just something to do. You don't have to watch. <laughs> I wish I could share it with you, though. I wish we could actually do this where where you know individuals are tasting it along with me. Maybe that's something we can do. Anybody that signs up for Universal Yum in the future, maybe we can open our boxes together and, and kind of have a, a shared experience and uh, do a little bit of. Uh, Skype or something like that and kind of enjoy that or, or what have you. Uh, anyway, first item up again was the uh, the cassava chips with onion and parsley. Uh, I don't know whether I should read this or not. Probably not. We'll, we'll try to keep this a little shorter. But anyway, this this is and it's hard. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> the chroma key really makes life difficult for anything green. But there's the there's the uh, the bag. Uh, and again, cassava chips with onion and parsley. So there it goes. Um, they're good. They're good. Um, I guess my first impression of that is they're a very, a very thin, very crisp, uh, almost to the point where you, you wonder if it's stale or not. But it's not. I mean, it's just very, very crunchy. It has a very crisp crunch as opposed to like a potato chip or something like that. Very good flavor. A strange texture. Strange texture. Not to say it's not good. Not to say it's not good, because it, it was. Um, and then on, yeah, I'm going to put on like four pounds here today. Um, my bibs, this is the um, hmm, milk chocolate and rice crisp, I guess. But there's the, there's the candy bar. And I'm going to try to not way overdo it and keep this a little shorter. But... Uh, it's probably not near as fun for you guys as it was eating the bean boozled jelly beans of nastiness and all. But uh, yeah, it's just a little little chocolate with a pretty good sized rice crisp in there. So just take a little bit, a little bit of that. Mmm. Don't know what to say. Chocolate and rice crisp are an incredibly good combination, and I guess they always will be. Um, rice is a little little crispier, crispier than what I'm used to um, in like a Nestle Crunch or a Crackle Bar. And, and again, you get that you get that dark chocolate, um, that, that cocoa flavor kind of hits the back of your throat. Just, you know, pretty good, pretty good. Um, next, keep it on going down the list. And I feel like I'm in speed eating, so maybe maybe there'll be a contest. But this is the, the white chocolate with strawberry. And uh, I can get it open. And it just, it looks, it looks really nice, real nice. There's little, little, little chunks in there and uh, we'll just kind of see how that goes. And again, not gonna, I'm not gonna eat a ton of this or I won't be eating dinner for the next day or so after all these snacks, but. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh my goodness. The, uh, I'm not a huge, huge fan of white chocolate, but I swear that's just a, in this case anyway, that's just kind of a, a, a medium to hold it all together. Hmm. The strawberries taste like they're freeze dried. A lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. But they're they're also kind of a little crunchy. And there's a little little hints of salt. There's some salt crystals in here too that add to that that whole interesting point of this. So yeah, very good. Very good. ah that yeah because the white chocolate like I say did not leave me very excited. But after tasting that, that's going to go away quick. I'm not going to be able to share that with anybody else because that's going to be gone. Um, 
Alrighty, moving right along. So we can do this in a day. My Paco Quita Original Peanut Candy. That's the one I was talking about that's like the little peanut log. And apparently I have dumped it out of the box. Because it is not here. Um, I guarantee you it was in the box because I ate one of them. And I saved the other one for the stream. And I don't know where I left it. But it is it is not here with me. So just... Well, pretend. Trust me to say it, it's very good. It, it's very crumbly. It was very crumbly, but you do get the peanut flavor and the sweet, and it, and it was just really good. It, it, like I said, it kind of brought back a little little memory from my childhood. I'm sorry I don't have that here, but such is the life of, of semi-live uh, entertainment. All right, so on to the next things. Delicito Sabor Pimenta, and that is our wheat snack with chili pepper seasoning, and that would be this. So, oh, again, <laughs> oh, it's invisible. Look, I'm gone. I'm like Predator. I can hide behind stuff. Yeah, green wrappers. <laughs> green wrappers everywhere. <laughs> All right, watch this. Watch my, watch it, watch, it, watch it eat my hand. Of course, it always does, I guess. But we'll get some of those out. So basically, they, I don't know how to do this. So they, they are these little, these little puff things. And they are a peppery flavor, right? Oh, and they are. They are. They're not hot. I don't want to give that impression. They're, they're, oh, very, very light. They're a, kind of an airy, like a little pillow. And you do get the pepper flavor right away. But uh, I guess I hit that. And I was tasting like a jalapeno type flavor, expecting the heat that follows that. And it, and it never came. So, <laughs> so nothing wrong with that. That's, that's very good. Those also are going to be very short lived. All right. So next up. Salsitos Sabor Pipoca. That's corn puffs with popcorn flavor. Um, okay, we got one that's not green for a change. So there's there's our bag, such as is. It's so hard to so hard to convey this to you guys. Oh oh, there it is. I had I had peeled back the label. Ha ha! How silly of me. I had peeled back the label on this so I could actually get a picture of the of the product itself. This is that little uh, peanut log I was speaking of. And unfortunately, I'd left the, the sticky part of the label on it, and it stuck to the back of my bag of chips. So we're going to go a little bit, oh, out of sequence. Like I say, it's very crumbly. Oh, my. This, uh, <laughs> that may be difficult. Here, close your eyes just a minute. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Again, peanutty, kind of like a... A butterfinger in taste, but definitely not in texture. It's a kind of a drier, powdery type thing, but it's not real dry. It doesn't like suck the saliva right out of your tongue. But oh, that's how I'm eating it, sticking my tongue down in there. So, so sorry about that, but glad we found it. Glad we found it. That way, I don't feel like we've we've shorted you any. Mm. Okay, now back to the sabor papoca, and this is. Corn puffs with popcorn flavor. Oh, these are cool. Look, they're they're like little 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 molecules <laughs> all stuck together. There's like three three of these little corn puffs, or I don't know if it's corn. What did it say? Yeah, corn puffs. So you got three of these little corn puffs, kind of like an Utz cheese ball, which I dearly love, and they're all stuck together. That's that's cool. That's cool. Mm. So while I'm tasting that, I'm gonna get another one out. And yes, yes, apparently that is the thing. Little little molecules of cheesy goodness. And, uh, of course, their cheese is not quite as tart as the Utz. I guess everything I compare to the Utz cheese balls. But uh, it's kind of a nice mellow flavor. I see, yeah, okay, I'm getting the popcorn now kind of at the finish. So that's that's interesting. So, so the cheese puffs taste like popcorn. What does the popcorn taste like? And that would be our next item up is the popcorn. And that's the Pipoca Doce Bilu. Alrighty. And it's also not a green package. So, oh, finally getting one you can almost kind of see. I don't know who this dude is. But I I'm, I'm meant to look and see if he's on any of the other packages. So, maybe he's like a uh, mascot or something. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get into this thing. Pardon my, my crinkly sound on the mic. And, whoa, this does not look like popcorn. Sweetened popcorn corn snack. Hmm. 
Yeah, I, I wish, I don't know if this is going to work. I wished I could convey the, the shape and size of this thing. Because that is odd. That's what one, one of them. I may, I may take a picture and, and post it, you know, like, like up here in the corner or something. So we have something to look at, but that's, that's odd. Hmm. A little afraid of that one. And it's very tough. Well, no, let's, let's say that differently. That is, it is not the texture I expected for popcorn. These are, these are the size of those corn nuts where they take corn and they soak it in lye or something and fry it. I don't, I don't know how those are made, but these, these definitely have some stronger texture than the popcorn I'm used to. After they sit in your mouth for just a moment, it softens up and kind of goes away, but it has a, has a sweetness to it. But it doesn't not like a not like a flavored sweetener like uh, like caramel or anything like that. It's more just like maybe maybe sugar or something. Not at all unpleasant. Not my favorite, but uh, I definitely could eat those. I, I seriously doubt any of that's going to go in the uh, in the trash can. But all right. So what now? What now? Uh, full fruit sabor. I just saw that in here. And, and yeah, I'm going to pull my hand here so you can't tell that I've already opened this because these, these are so good. But it is also a green wrapper, so we can, you know, ooh, here we're going. We can, we can see through it. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, look, like a logo. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not going to eat the whole thing because I want to enjoy this on my own. So I'll just take a tiny little bite and give you an give you impression of that because these, these, are, these are amazing. These are amazing things. I wish that half that box would have been full of these things. But it's just just a little little like a caramel, and again, it doesn't deal well with the uh, with the chroma key. <laughs> Take just a little little edge and hope I can stop myself. These remind me of an American candy, and I can't think what. Not like Starburst, because you really do get, uh, and not to say I don't like Starburst, because I do. But these pineapple in there just really jump. Maybe that's what it is. Like if you get a find a star Starburst. Or, or even Skittles that has a, a pineapple. These are kind of like that. It's got a very, very good pineapple flavor. Nice finish. Mm. Sound like I'm talking about wine. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they're they're chewy. Again, it's a it's a little caramel type thing. So come as you expect it. But yeah, I really like those. Those are outstanding. Uh, now we're getting into the snooty portion. I and mean, this is our 1891. Tropical Chocolate Bronco, white chocolate bar with caramel and banana. Oh, these are so hard to see. I wish there was a, is there, there's not a, hang on just a second. Turn off my light. Does that help at all? I don't think it does. Anyway, that's what the box kind of would look like. So let me turn that back up. I want to look totally washed out and lighten off. It comes in a nice little foil wrapper. Break off a little piece here and share it with you visually, if nothing else. Oh, this is like Christmas. I get to open so many things. <laughs> this would be a cool little thing to do with the kids and just sit around. Um, you know, everybody can divide up a little bit. In fact, that's what my daughter does. They sit around the table and they'll they'll take out, you know, and just make sure everybody gets a taste of everything, and then they'll rate them and decide what they like and all. And pretty cool deal. Well, here's the here's the little um, what I call that. White chocolate bar with caramel and banana. The tropical chocolate to Bronco. Hmm. Oh, very sweet. Very sweet to start. Oh my gosh. Kind of get the banana comes in a little later. You first, unlike the other one, you do get the white chocolate really strongly right off the bat with this. And then the banana kind of kicks in afterwards. Um, not to say that's bad. It's not. not. It's very good. Very good. Very sweet. As is a candy bar's job in life, I think. Oh, um, wait a minute. I think I missed I missed one or two or something on the way. Where was I? Oh, yes, I did. Sorry, I went out of order. Next is the Delicia Queje Ya Dija Superiore. The, the Italian influence one. This is a, the par oh, this is the cookies with Parmesan cheese and coconut. Oh, where are they at? That, that sounds so interesting. Wait, is that it? Yeah, yeah, that's a word I can't say. That must be them. So it comes it comes in a nice little roll. Actually, some of these things, you know, you think, okay, so I've uh, got it upside down. So you get all these cool little uh, 
you know, snacks, you're thinking, oh, okay, everything like little tiny candy bar and all. You get some, some pretty good size items. Uh, there was a, a French one last month, and I swear this box of chocolates, that was huge. It was just one part of it. So you definitely, I, I think you get your money's worth. I, I mean, I enjoy this tremendously. Again, it's a lot of fun. Even if even I didn't like anything that was in the package, and, and that's never happened, mainly because I'm... <laughs> I, I was going to say foodie, but maybe I'm just a glutton. I don't know. I don't know what the right term for that might be, but it is it is a lot of fun and, and tasty. Well, these are just a little little like a sweet bread looking um, cookie. It's supposed to be Parmesan cheese and, and um, what was the other? Parmesan cheese and coconut. Okay. Went blank. Let's try that one. Well, it's just like a, and I don't even know if I'm using the right term, but the shortbread cookie that I'm, I, most of my cookies have chocolate chips buried in them or some sort of a, a flavored lard spread spread in there somehow, which I won't tell the brands, you know, for liability's sake, but, but I love them all. Uh, this one, this one's a, I would, I would categorize that as a fancy, fancy cookie. That, that was a. A neat flavor. You don't really get like a, a heavy cheese, so you go, oh, cheese, yeah. It, it goes together surprisingly well. So, yeah, I highly recommend that one. Mm. But I think on that one I would have to have milk or or something uh, to eat that because it, it is it is a pretty dry dry cookie. Um, so, there we are. Uh, next up is the Cori Pao de Mel. And this is a large pack. Um, anyway, I'm sorry, I got reading something here. You missed, you missed half of the packaging because of this, this, uh, nutrition label. <laughs> that again, I guess is part of the U.S. That, that they have to tell you how many calories and, and fats and all that other good stuff in there. But, um, see if we can get this out. I'm trying not to show it because I want you to think that this is pristine and never been opened. But I have to admit, some of these have already suffered a little bit because I, I sucked them down. This is one of the first things I had. But this is a this is a nice little chocolatey cookie. Oh, wherever it is. Hello. There you are. And uh, oh, and this chocolate sprinkles. You can see those very well on this now too. So let's go with that. Very cakey. Very cakey cookie. Um, Probably not my first choice, but I can't complain about the um, the quality or the taste, really. I'm just not a big fan of the cakey type cookies. It it almost strikes me like, um, oh, I can't even think what to call it, like a, not a moon pie. I'm, there's a cookie in my mind that I cannot apparently describe with words, but it has that kind of taste. You definitely get the chocolate. It's it's not it's not overly moist. It's not overly dry. Um, just kind of just kind of there again. Very cakey. The the sprinkles are delicious, and then chocolate on top can't go wrong with that, right? Um, and now now I think that brings us down to our yum bag, which is is this little guy right here, and that has just like say a handful of, of different kind of kind of snackies, little candy stuff and all. And what I have here, if I can get one of each. One of these was a passion fruit, passion fruit caramel, and the other was a key lime caramel. So go ahead and dive on in. And I'm not sure which one this was. It is so hard for me to read. <laughs> um, okay, this is the, the lime pie, the lime pie. Hmm. Oh, very refreshing. Very refreshing. You get that. I mean, obviously it's sweet. It's candy, but you get that that lime, but it's not like, and I keep going back to Starburst. It's not Starburst lime. It's it's uh, a deeper, like mellow, like a sweet, like, like, a, like a lime pie would be. If you've had like key lime pie, it's, it actually does have that kind of taste more so than, than like a lime candy or lime caramel. So... Very good, very good. It, you eat it and you kind of go, oh, I feel, I feel refreshed. So there's that. And then our final, final item is our passion fruit caramel, or caramel. I grew up with caramel, so there we are. 
so passion fruit. I don't even know what passion fruit tastes like by itself. I'm sure I've had it, but it apparently did not stay with me. Mmm. Hmm. So very, very, well, I'd say fruity, but it's, it's kind of a floral sense that I get. And, and again, you know, it's a caramel, so you get that texture. But a uh, very neat taste. It doesn't taste super sweet or super heavy. Again, it's something you eat and you kind of, oh, okay, let's go. Hmm. I don't know. So anyway, that, that wraps up our, our book for the day. Next month is um, something with colorful skies and castles. <laughs> so I don't know what that, that holds. We'll, we'll find out next month when that comes. But anyway, I appreciate if you stayed long to, uh, to watch me taste all this stuff and kind of give you the, the idea of what it's about. Uh, again, I highly recommend you try out you know, you know, Universal Yums. Again, check the, check the link down below. And uh, we'll go from there. And I, I just don't see how you could go wrong. It's just a neat little thing. It's, it's not, not real expensive. Uh, they're very reliable showing up. I've never had one that's been damaged. Uh, so Universal Yum got me out of the house for a little bit, at least in a virtual sense, as well as the, the, the scenery going on behind us. So anyway, glad you guys hung in there with me. And I uh, hope you try it again. And if you have any comments about Universal Yums, or if you ever tried them, or you wanted to try them, or you wanted to just talk about anything else, Please feel free to leave something in the comment section below. I, I answer every comment I get, and um, and that's it. So happy social uh, distancing to you. Don't go crazy, like I said in the other segment. Reach out, you know, reach out and talk to people. Uh, you've got telephones, you've got uh, the Twitch, you've got uh, YouTube things. There's there's many ways that you can go out and have have some sort of social interaction, even if you're not close enough to spit on each other, which is probably a good thing right now. So anyway, if you'd like, um, you know, hit me up on Twitch or, or here. I'd be more than happy to talk to you, and, and we'll go from there. Uh, otherwise, just have a great rest of the day, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Right, Bye-bye.